Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. We do have a few storms popping up across portions of central Arkansas, but they have not really moved to, to uh, any of our counties further to the north and south Arkansas. But as we cut throughout the course of today, we have a frontal boundary which will begin to push further south, and we can start to see a bit more isolated activity kind of throughout the day. But looking like most of these storms will be kind of hit or miss. Here's a look at Doppler radar, and you can see at 514, there's nothing really occurring in any of our south Arkansas counties, but there is some storms up near Pine Bluff and near the I-30 corridor, which will kind of push further down to the south as we go, go throughout the course of this morning and throughout the course of the day. Here's a live look in downtown El Dorado, where we have kind of a mixture of clouds in the sky, and that's going to be kind of the case throughout the course of today, just a mixture of sun and clouds. Right now, it's 69 degrees at the El Dorado Airport. Dew point 67 winds are currently just calm out of the north. Uh, right now in Camden, it's 70, 69 degrees in Monticello, 74 in Monroe, and also 74 over in Ruston. Our dew points, yeah, still a lot of moisture here at the surface, but the further north you go, it's a little bit drier because winds are kind of shifting more out of the northeast kind of thanks to the placement of the frontal boundary which is what's going to spark up those chances of rain for today and there is a little light northeasterly breeze out of the north so it doesn't feel too bad to step out the door we got the frontal boundary continuing to push further on down to the south we're going to see some activity pop up near the boundary layer and that's the reason why everything's just be kind of isolated we got a bigger disturbance uh, back off to the west across west texas which will spark up some strong storms across uh, south texas from austin to san antonio but looking like that's going to be well outside of our area. We're just going to be kind of straggling this uh, frontal boundary. Here's a look at your dog walk forecast. We'll be seeing temperatures in the upper 70s, reaching into lower 80s at, uh, around noon. And then by 3 and 5 o'clock later today, it's going to be a tad cooler because of the winds kind of shifting more out of the northeast, uh, mixture of kind of sudden clouds, and of course those chances for potential for some rain cooled air if you do pick up on a thunderstorm that pops up. So going to be feeling a lot better compared to how it was over the weekend. There might be a few places further down to the south of I-20 that might hit around 88, 89, maybe pushing near 90 uh, for your high today. But this brief cool down, it's not going to be lasting long because we'll be back to the 90s by Thursday. And then notice we'll be in the mid 90s as we go into the start of the weekend. But we do have another system that could push in later on next week, kind of like what's happening at the start of this week. That could bring us a little bit of relief back to mid 80s for temperatures by next Monday. So as we move forward, the frontal boundary, it's just going to kind of hold up down to the south. We have a bigger disturbance across Texas, which will linger for the next few days and it will spark up more chance of rain thunderstorms in that direction. Our winds will kind of stay a little bit more out of the northeast. We got high pressure up further to the north across the Ohio River Valley and then still can't roll up more chances of rain again right along our frontal boundary even going through Wednesday but probably 10% at best and it's going to be the placement of that boundary layer which will determine our rain chances by the middle part of the week. So finishing out today we kind of set make sure sun and clouds patchy storm or two cannot be ruled out for locations near this frontal boundary. These winds will also continue out of the northeast. We'll probably see more activity uh, further south though from Natchez to Jonesville parts of LaSalle and Grant Parish for late this evening and then through overnight will remain partly cloudy and then tomorrow we'll kind of see that mixture of sun and clouds but the rain chance themselves begin to dwindle a little bit and then we'll see skies begin to clear out closer towards Wednesday and Thursday as we continue to be warming back up. Notice our rainfall total is again pushing most of that activity further south. As we go throughout the course of today temperatures will not feel too bad holding out in the mid 80s and then tonight we will fall to the mid 60s and then next uh, through the week we will be seeing temperatures continue to warm up, getting hot by Friday into Saturday, but more chances storms later on next week. So that's me right back watching NBC 10 News today.